Hey guys, if you're looking for a short yoga routine to help you with calm and focus, you're in the right place. At the end of this 10 minute morning yoga routine, you are going to feel calm and focused and ready for the day. You're gonna see five of my favorite morning yoga poses to help with promoting calm and focus. And we're gonna finish off with a bonus yoga pose that you probably haven't seen before. So make sure you watch the full routine. We're gonna get started on your back. Do your best, follow along. No yoga experience, no flexibility required. All right, go ahead and join me on your back. You're gonna lay down, bring your knees in toward your shoulders, hug the fronts of your knees, spread your legs a little bit and pull your knees toward your shoulders. Flatten out your neck on the ground the best you can and breathe in and out of your nose. And just lightly hold your knees in. You don't have to go as far as you possibly can go. We just want to put your knees here so we can start to stretch your back, maybe get a little bit of ab or core engagement. And open your chest so we can start focusing on good breathing. Focus on body awareness. And that's what's going to help you with calm and focus. Focus on your breathing, focus on your body, and you will feel much more focused and calm at the end of this short 10, more, 10 minute workout than when you started. All right, I want you to plant your feet in front of your hips and then spread your feet so that they're about as wide as the mat and then drape your legs over to the right. So let the inside of your left knee come toward the ground. Let your right knee come over to the ground. Bring your arms to the outsides in a T and breathe in and out of your nose. So if you're doing this, you might feel some stretching through the outer left hip. And if you don't feel any stretching, that's okay. We're still getting a nice little twist to your spine that's going to help your back feel better throughout the day. Also focus on getting your chest open here and practice breathing in and out of your nose. Try to go for a five, four or a five second inhale. Maybe pause at the top for one, two or three seconds and then exhale. And notice how your inhale fills up your body, it changes how you feel. And as you exhale, your belly gets smaller, the stretches in your hips and your shoulders gets a little bit deeper. And we wanna do this throughout the workout, focusing on how the breath affects your body. Let's bring your legs back to the middle, take a breath to reset. And as you exhale, bring your legs over to the left. And don't force them down, just allow your legs to go however far they want to go with gravity's assistance. Keep your chest open, keep your head, your shoulders, your neck relaxed on the ground. And remember to breathe in and out of your nose. We breathe in and out of your nose because that helps you stay out of your fight or flight response, keeps you calm and focused. And it's also more efficient for your body. So there's less stress on your body as you breathe in and out of your nose. You're more efficient. You, lose, you use less oxygen. You're using less air. And that means less work for your body. Try to stay focused on the breathing. If you lose focus, that's okay. That's going to happen. Just gently guide yourself back to focusing on your breathing and it'll get better as you practice. Bring your legs back to the middle. And from here, we're going to sit up and come into a easy seated twist position. So bring your left leg out in front of you. Sit forward onto the bottoms of your thighs. So try to sit less on your butt, more on your thighs. And then cross your right foot over your left knee Hold your knee with both hands and lift your chest up. Try to open up your chest. Do the best you can here to press your lower back forward. Pull your shoulder blades together. Just doing the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
and then bring your right hand behind your back. Bring your left elbow outside your right knee. If you can't do that, you're just going to hold on to your knee and look over to the right. And then breathe in and out of your nose. Keep your shoulders relaxed. This is just a really nice, gentle twist, getting some good spinal mobility work so your back feels good throughout the day. But it's also a good opportunity to practice your breathing. Notice how as you inhale, your belly expands. And as you exhale, you can go a little bit deeper into the twist. One more breath here. Back to the middle, switch sides. Bring your right leg out, cross your left leg over. Hug your right leg or your left knee in toward your chest. Lift your chest up. Take a couple breaths to get set here. And do your best to kind of root down through your hips. You should be able to hold yourself up with your hips and your core here, not relying as much on the hands to the knees. So we don't feel this all in the lower back. And then if you feel good there and you want to go a little bit further, you can bring your right elbow outside your left knee, twist over toward the left. Might feel some popping through your back as you do that. And try to maintain a sense of lightness in your spine as you do this. Don't worry about cranking yourself open as far as you can. We want to keep the intensity of this workout to a four or below. Try not to go above that. And again, focus on your breathing. Notice how the inhale and the exhale changes your body. One more breath. All right, bring it back to the middle. And then from here, we're going to go into a really cool stretch called a 90-90 position. You're going to bring your right knee outside your right hip, your right shin parallel to the top of the mat. And then bring your left knee directly to the outside and your left knee at a 90 degree angle. So your foot is facing down, knee is facing out, and your hips are squared forward. If this is difficult, if you notice that you're really slumped over to one side, you can put a cushion or a block underneath your right hip, and that's going to help you square your hips forward. So do whatever variation feels good for you. You're going to feel openings through your hips as you do this. And this is going to help your back feel better throughout the day. If you spend a lot of time sitting at a desk during the day, this is really going to help countering sitting at a desk. From here, I want you to lean your right ear toward your right shoulder and give yourself a little bit of a neck stretch. So this is cool because we're getting a hip and a neck stretch out of this. Keep your breathing controlled. Keep your chest open. Pull your shoulder blades together. And then you're going to relax and switch sides. So coming to a 90-90 position, other side, left knee is outside the hip, left shin parallel to the top of the mat, right knee directly to the outside, right foot facing down. Square your hips forward, and you can use your hands to help position yourself upright. And this is hard to do. It takes time to build this mobility. So if you can't quite do this perfectly yet, don't worry about it. You'll get better with time. Breathe in and out of your nose. And don't worry about forcing yourself into a position. If you can focus on using your breathing to relax your body, your hips are naturally going to open up. And that's why the breathing is so important. By using your breathing to tell your nervous system that you're okay, your muscles are going to relax and they'll stretch. But if you can't focus on the breathing, if you're breathing quickly or you're feeling stressed, then it's going to be harder. The more you practice, the easier it gets. If you can do these things about three times per week or more, then you're really going to feel the results. You're going to notice it day to day. All right, let's go ahead and come out of that. And we're going to go into a low lunge position here. 
and combine this with a strap stretch. So this is a really good way to open your chest and your hips at the same time. So hold a strap behind your back. If you don't have a strap, you can get a t-shirt or a belt. And then step your right leg forward. Allow your hips to sink forward into a lunge. Lift your chest upright. And then squeeze your arms away from your back. Breathe in and out of your nose. This is a little bit more intense than those last few postures. But keep the breathing the same. In and out of the nose, slow and controlled. And as you inhale, think about puffing out your chest. So using your breath to expand your torso to get bigger, and then using your exhale to go deeper into this lunge. One more breath here. All right, release, switch sides. By the way, if you have any discomfort in your knee doing this lunge, put a cushion underneath your kneecap or a pillow or a knee pad and that will help tremendously. Allow your hips to sink forward, lightly push down through your left foot, open your chest, lift the strap away from your back. Again, if you don't have a strap, use a t-shirt, use a belt, or even a towel if you're in a hotel room. And breathe in and out of your nose. You only got a little bit left of this workout, so use it to focus on your breathing. Make every breath better than the last one. Notice the stretching in your hips and your shoulders. Pay attention to how little movements make big changes in sensation. All right, go ahead and come out of that. If you're looking for a routine just like that, I've got another 10-minute morning yoga for Calm for free here on YouTube. Click here to check that out now. And we've got more of these coming out every Tuesday at 9 a.m., more free workouts. So subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment if you have some feedback, and I'll see you on another video soon.